Okay, so we're going to look at 9.5 now, work done on a single particle, okay? And this is an important word, particle, which we'll get to in a, in a second. Um, but we know, what we've seen is that whenever there's a change in energy of the system, it was because work was done on the system, or if work is done on a system, then the total energy is changed, okay? Energy is transferred into or out of the system if work is done. Now, I'd like to introduce a term called particle, and uh, it, is a, it is an assumption, um, it is an approximation, it's not, the, it's not the real thing, but whenever we assume an object to be a particle, this means that we assume that the object has no internal structure, and no, it has no size. It has no internal structure, and it has no size it has no extent in space because it has none of those um, if we apply a force to it we can't change its shape because it doesn't have a shape it doesn't have a size and because you can't change its shape you can't change the internal energy so if we assume an object if we're studying an object and we s assume that this object is a particle then we do not consider any changes in internal energy. So if a force is applied to a particle, only the kinetic energy will change. Okay? Does that make sense? So work is delta E, but if we consider it to be a particle that we're studying, then the only delta E we have is delta K. Okay? And we'll see that this simplifies our, uh, the, the problems quite a bit. Okay. So, uh, that's good.